In this example, ladies and gentlemen, what I'd like to do is talk about a little bit about degrees. Now, when we're talking about rotating something, now I told you we're always going to be rotating, Zeth, about going over a, a fixed point. And what's really important is we're, I'm not going to just say, you know, rotate counterclockwise or rotate clockwise. But what I'm going to ask you to do, AJ, is to rotate a certain amount of degrees, all right? So let's pretend we're going to be starting here at this point. Well, let's call this zero degrees. All right, and we'll call, let's do clockwise. Now, hopefully, you guys know when we have our coordinate system, our coordinate systems are perpendicular to each other. Therefore, they create a 90 degree angle, right? Our x and our y axis are perpendicular to each other. So we can say, if I rotate something, if I wrote a, rotate a point, let's say there's a point on this line, and that's going to be my point that I'm going to rotate on. If I rotate my point from here to here, I have rotated it how many degrees? 90, 90 degrees in the clock, sorry, counter, counterclockwise direction, right? So from here to here would be 90 degrees, all right? So if here was my fixed point, this is the point I'm going to rotate on. And if I had a point on this line, if I rotate it from here to here, that would be 90 degrees. If I rotate the point from here all the way over to here, Mario, how far would that be? Exactly, thank you. Taylor, how far would that be? 180 degrees in the counterclockwise direction. Now, again, remember guys, these are all 90 degree angles. So if I wanted to go from here all the way over to here, well, I just need to add 90 again to 180, which would be 270. And then if I rotate, or if I rotate this point about this fixed point all the way around, it's going to give me the exact same image. But anyways, you guys will at least know that's 360. Okay? So I'm going to ask you to rotate points counterclockwise. And I'm also going to ask you to rotate points clockwise. So What's different about them is the same thing. Let's say we have our fixed point. And there's the point that I'm going to rotate. If I say rotate this clockwise 90 degrees, well, up here was 90 degrees, but that was counterclockwise. So 90 degrees over here, Sam, would be where? Where would I put my 90 degree point? Sam? 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 OK. Down right here on my y-axis. Right? So this rotation would be 90 degrees in the clockwise direction. Here would be a rotation of 180 degrees in the clockwise direction. Here would be a, kind of a, a measurement of 270 and then 360. Does everybody see how that's different compared to clockwise or counterclockwise? Anybody have any questions on that? OK? So just notice counterclockwise would be going like this for you. Clockwise would be going in that direction. All right. Got it, Zach? You getting this written down? Good. 